in 1942. As World War II raged on, the British government sought active participation from India and its people in the war effort. To secure this cooperation, the British sent the Cripps Mission to India in 1942, led by Stafford Cripps. In exchange for active support, the Indian National Congress demanded that real power be immediately transferred to Indians. However, negotiations between the Cripps Mission and the Congress broke down as the British government rejected Congress demands. This failure frustrated the Indian populace who were already discontented due to shortages and skyrocketing prices during the war. Mahatma Gandhi, understanding the public's unrest, intensified efforts toward Indian independence. In this context, Gandhi ji prepared a proposal urging the British to leave India immediately and called for non-violent, non-cooperation in the event of a Japanese invasion. Consequently, the Congress Working Committee met in Vardha on 14th July 1942 and approved Gandhi's decision for a struggle. On 8th August 1942, Mahatma Gandhi launched the historic Quit India movement at the Gwalior Tank Maidan in Mumbai, also known as the August Kranti, that is August Revolution. This was the final battle of the Indian independence movement, shaking the foundations of the British Empire. In this movement, Instructions were given to various sections by Gandhi ji which were announced in Gwalior tank itself government servants were advised not to resign but to declare their loyalty to the congress soldiers were instructed to refuse to fire upon fellow countrymen students were to abandon their studies only if they were resolute to remain firm in their decision until independence was achieved if a landlord was anti government peasants were to pay rent based on mutual interest however if a landlord supported the government they were to stop paying rent princes were urged to support the people and accept their sovereignty People in princely states were to support their rulers only if they were anti-government and declared themselves as part of the nation. In his speech at this event, Gandhi famously said, "I give you a mantra which you can inscribe in your heart and express in every breath. Do or die. Either we free India or die in the attempt." we shall not live to see the perpetuation of our slavery his call for complete independence spread like wildfire igniting the flame of freedom in every indian heart during the movement gandhi and key congress leaders were arrested gandhi was held in the aga khan palace in pune and the congress was declared an illegal organization with its properties seized other congress working committee members were imprisoned in ahmednagar fort dr rajendra prasad was detained in patna bankipur jail and jay prakash narayan who was imprisoned in hazari bagh central jail later escaped and formed the underground organization Azad Dasta Despite repeated efforts by the British some leaders like Aruna Asaf Ali the grand old lady of the movement remained at large She unfurled the tricolor at the Gwalior tank maidan on August 9 1942 signaling the start of the Quit India movement 
After September 1942, the increasing British repression forced the movement underground. Leaders like Jay Prakash Narayan, Ram Manohar Lohia, Achyut Patwardhan, and Sucheta Kriplani led the movement clandestinely. In Bombay, Usha Mehta set up an underground radio station to broadcast Congress strategies and important information to the public. The movement spread to villages and towns where secret meetings, bombings, and disruption of government communication lines occurred. Gandhi's call to action led people across the country to rise against the British government. Students left schools and colleges to join the Satyagraha, and women participated actively. The British responded with severe measures, including firing upon crowds, which turned the movement violent. Attacks on government offices, railway stations, and telegraph offices became frequent, with rail tracks uprooted and stations set on fire. resulting in numerous innocent casualties despite this the intensity of movement did not wane resonating across states like maharashtra uttar pradesh bihar bengal punjab and assam the quit india movement was notable for the significant participation and leadership of women marking a unique chapter in indian politics this movement was also special because it laid the foundation of indian politics during the movement from 1942 to 1944 numerous arrests were made across india with prominent leaders tortured in jails yet the indian populace remained undeterred with the flame of freedom burning brightly in their hearts the movement sent a clear message to the british government that indians would no longer tolerate british rule although the movement did not immediately achieve independence but this made the british government realize that their empire could not last much longer After World War II ended in 1945, pressure mounted on the British government to concede to India's demand for independence. Ultimately, on August 15, 1947, India gained independence, and the Indian tricolour was hoisted over the Red Fort. Thus, the Quit India movement. played a crucial role in the Indian independence struggle symbolizing the unyielding determination and courage of the Indian people the quit india movement has left an indelible mark in the history of the Indian freedom struggle which can never be forgotten this is such a chapter of our freedom struggle in which brave sons and many countrymen sacrificed their lives which will always remind us of the sacrifices of everyone jai hind for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications